Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am making some glitter jasmineite coasters and I'm really excited. So let's quickly talk about supplies. Um, I am using acrylic resin that um, is from Cerisy Design, also known as So Resin and Molds. Her website is actually called So Resin and Molds and I will link her shop in the description of the video. If you're in South Africa, you can go check her shop out. She's got some amazing starter kits and she's also got some Terezzo starter kits. So if you're wanting to try it out, you don't have to spend too much money um, and you can just buy a starter kit and try it out. I'm also using some chunky slash fine glitter from So Resin. So Resin, listen to me. <laughs> From Resin Supply South Africa, she's got some beautiful glitters. You can also go and check her website out. So what I did with this, you can see that there's not a lot of chunky glitter in there. And I just sifted it out just because I didn't want to use the chunky glitter in today's video. And the reason why is because my mold has these ridges and sort of like a lip, so to say. And the glitter can get stuck in those ridges and it's going to create a whole bunch of bubbles and it's not going to look nice so i decided i'm just going to leave that out so i hope that you guys enjoy the video um i am probably going to be using some consumables like stuff to protect my surface with and everything but i think the main supplies that i'm using i've pretty much mentioned so i hope that you guys enjoy it once again let's go ahead and get started so i'm not going to go over mixing or ratios in this video if you're interested you can check out my other videos where i go into more details so i'm going to start by sprinkling the glitter in my molds first and then pour the jasmineite on top when i'm done filling the molds i will add some glitter at the back i actually did this off camera i just thought that it would give it a nice touch Okay, the fun part, demolding. Some of the glitter did disappear within the jasmineite, but for the most part, it's still visible and it still looks really pretty. What I love is that the glitter is a part of the jasmineite and not sitting on top of it. So it has a great feel to it, whereas the back, I could feel the glitter and you'll see as I demold, the glitter gets all over my fingers. Of course, I had to do a contrasting color to really make the glitter stand out. So I added a little black pigment and repeated the process again.
I fell in love with the back of the black pieces. It looks like a freaking galaxy. It's so beautiful. Bubbles, the struggle is real. So I did get a lot of bubbles in the ridges of the pieces. I think this would have been better in a flat co coaster mold. I also think chunky glitter would have worked better and would have made the piece really pop, but I still like it and I love the glitter. So my jasmineite glitter experiment is done and honestly they look so much better in real life. What do you guys think? Would you be trying out something like this? I think I'll give this another go in the future. There's so many glitters you could try with this. But anyway that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you in the next craft video. Bye!